so very warm welcome everyone i don't know where we la last left so please guide yeah would you want to share the pdf should i share it you share you share you go ahead yeah yeah so let us begin and before we begin it's beautiful we have already sat with sri aurobindo sri aurobindo's gayatri mantra just invoking their presence as we look at the words the forces in action as mother says of the passages of the sanskrit path so the passage that we have to take today is the reason for blows so last week we had done pleasure and pain and we saw how you know how we take pain how we take pleasure how what is leading to where and what should we be attracted to or what we should see the reality of but what is our false perception of what it actually is so we can start with this passage today if anybody is willing they can unmute and read the passage for it's it's a small one only I will read. The reason for blows. O thou that lovest, strike. If thou strike me not now, I shall not know that thou lovest me not. Sri Aurobindo thoughts and aphorisms. All who aspire for the divine perfection. know that the blows which the lord deals us in his infinite love and grace are the surest and quickest way to make us progress and the harder the blows the more they feel the greatness of the divine love ordinary men on the contrary always ask god to give them an easy pleasant and successful life in every personal satisfaction they see a sign of divine mercy but if on the contrary they meet with unhappiness and misfortune in life they complain and say to god you do not love me you know <laughs> sorry in opposition to this crude and ignorant attitude Sri Aurobindo says to the divine beloved strike strike hard let me feel the intensity of thy love for me yeah thank you captain you know a surdas tulsidas a kabir and a sri aurobindo can say this you know with a big open heart and you know with this fire of progress and growth and come what may so it's so beautiful just to even read the lovingness with which and the you know desire with which one is wanting to be striked because one has surely seen where the strike leads us so any uh, reflections on uh, what we have just read so the topic is reason for blows actually uh, uh, when i was reading this uh, so i was remembering uh, tagore tagore in his uh, poem or uh, song uh, you know uh, it goes like this in bengali aru aru emni kore मीनिंग इज दिस the this is uh, lord uh, you hit me 
he said, I am hiding. I am, uh, I always, I know that uh, I'm not in the right path. And uh, so, please hit me, please hit me. Oh Lord, please hit me. These are the two lines only I just sang. So, uh, the whole uh, poem is so meaningful, so meaningful, exactly what Arvind has told, exactly the same thing. When say, well, we always uh, go to God that uh, please, uh, you know, give me pleasure. We never ask for pain or hitting or anything of this nature. And uh, similarly, the Adi Shankaracharya, uh, I was going through the shlokas, Mohamudgara, Mohamudgara. So there also he says that uh, uh, he took bath early morning in the Ganges and he was coming out and he saw that one old man was reading Sanskrit grammar. So then uh, by seeing this, suddenly uh, he remembered 14 slopes, 14 slokas came out from his mouth. That was recorded. And uh, he had 14 disciples and all the disciples had written one one sloka. So there are 28 slokas in Mohamudgara. In Mohamudgara, Moha is a delusion. Mudgara is the hammer. He is telling this delusion uh, this uh, is to be hammered. It should be hammered in such a way that uh, it goes off. That there is no trace of Moha. And then only you can achieve. He is telling that old man, why, why are you reading this grammar? Uh, you know, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, the sloka itself which starts like this that uh, at, at this old age now uh, we should take the name of God for realization and things like that so there is no need of learning the grammar at this stage so uh, Bhajo Gavindam so he is telling that grammar will not be able to save us from the death. So, uh, so everywhere, uh, all the sadhaks, actually, uh, like this is coming to my mind, like uh, this Aurobindo given in no uncertain terms. <clears throat> so he says, in opposition to this crude and ignorant attitude, Sri Aurobindo says to the divine beloved, strike, strike her, let me feel the intensity of thy love for me. So nothing can be said better than this. Thank you. Let's see. Two months back, I was feeling very, I was feeling uh, too much grace and I was just feeling like I'm floating. And I remember in the dining area, Vijay Didi was sitting and I told her that, uh, that I'm totally, you know, I was in a very good zone, feeling too much, you know, very, very, I was feeling the presence too much. And uh, I said that I just want to be her, you know, the, the I just want divine will to be done, this, that, blah, blah, all that, you know, I was saying. And uh, Vijayadiri told me, Ki soch ke bolo, you know, and I said, well, soch liya. if not now, then when? <laughs> and um, and last 15, 20 days or so have been, I think mother has taken it very seriously and I'm feeling it. And <laughs> And I don't feel as I, mean, I don't feel as light as I was feeling. You know, I feel a little more. Um, I, I like this strike, strike. I think if it it has to come from, it can't come from a space of um, privilege. I think that is where I was. Where I look back, I think it has to come from a, a space of understanding where we are and who we are. I think that's that's where I uh, kind of messed up. So, yeah, yeah, but I'm good. Yeah, so nice to have this space where I could just share, share this about my yeah experience. Yes, thank you. You know, one thing that was coming to me was that you know, I might ask, I might ask for progress, I might ask for growth, I would aspire, pray, and yet there are sources through which it usually comes, right? Like say a strike, a challenge, an insult, a difficulty is channeled through someone or something. 
so usually because i talking about myself have limited view right limited sight both inside and outside rather than understanding mostly that oh this is he striking me i start blaming right i start complaining i start feeling the victim and i start i could start crying that oh what's happening to me and why you know why it was so simple oh why it was just the right thing to do so i not recognizing the complete picture because i can't see everything it's very interesting how i again you know what we were discussing on the group that i have my hammer in my own hand and i'm hitting my own head and then crying who hit me so this whole thing is very interesting how i say and i'm not ready and i say and i can't recognize when it's happening and with such light maybe something inside would be able to see at least that is an aspiration that must be an aspiration so that i can see and learn quicker right because i waste a lot of time in complaining and crying and my entitlements and what was taken from me and what was owed to me <laughs> so yeah so learn i will but if i can see this i can maybe cut through the drama little bit as much as i can with my capacity and be where i can and should be yeah Ah, yeah, I got muted. I think. O thou that lovest, strike! If thou strike me not now, I shall know that thou lovest me not. Sri Aurobindo. So all who aspire for the divine perfection know that the blows which the Lord deals us in His infinite love and grace. are the surest and quickest way to make us progress so i think what one important thing is all who aspire for the divine perfection so that is a prerequisite know that the blows that are given to us are his infinite love and grace and are the surest and quickest way to make us progress like progress we will right we read how we read that the nature itself is you know evolving us and the whole progression right from the plant to the animal to different kind of animals and then us it shows that it is evolving but are we part of that conscious effort is the is it there for that perfection so quickest way to make us progress and the harder the blows the more they feel the greatness of the divine love so ordinary men on the contrary always ask god to give them an easy pleasant and successful life so that's what we see all around us and a lot of times in us in every personal satisfaction they see a sign of divine mercy but if on the contrary they meet with unhappiness and misfortune in life they complain and say to god you do not love me and even for others right we a lot of time we hear this sentence at least i have that oh he was so good and still this happened to him oh she was you know so giving and generous and she used to do so much seva and still that happened to her so we see that all around us in every day so in opposition to this crude and ignorant attitude sri aurobindo says to the divine beloved strike strike hard let me feel the intensity of thy love for me
So just a few weeks back, you know, I think Jagan had asked a question or expressed a desire that, you know, I've started asking for challenges or blows so that I can come out of where I am. And then again, you know, we had a discussion that one should not really ask, but take whatever is given, right? One don't need, and mother says in general, right, that you don't need to ask for pain and suffering, but whatever comes your way, just take it in your stride and, you know, try to transcend. So this too is beautiful and yet one should know what one is asking for fully. Yeah, any last comments, anything? And we can maybe take up the next passage. I think in this entire thing, it's not what we ask or what we receive, but if the memory of this stays with us, now that it is the intensity of thy love for me, which is making whatever is happening, then then things stay online. Otherwise, if you know everything becomes suffering. I think that is that's the catch. And the question is how to for me to constantly stay aware of of this that it is thy love that you know is for the every strike is. I love so yeah that is that the memory of it is something you know which could happen just through grace all the time and I don't know if we are constantly if we can really choose to stay in that memory because if I can choose I, I choose I right now and forever to stay in that memory but why is it that it slips that the memory of this Yeah, would anybody want to respond or reflect on that? Yeah, I think the response is there in Mother's story of creation. Suni hai, kisi ne, hum sab mein se kisi ne suni hai, padi hai. Story of creation by the mother. Would anyone want to share if anyone has read it or heard about it? Kuch logo ne to padi hoongi, I'm sure. You go ahead, please tell us. So mother shares. Uh, <laughs> mother shares uh, this story of creation mm -hmm. where she says that first there was only one, which we say Brahman <clears throat> or the divine, the supreme Purusha, and he, for the fun of it, because it's no fun being alone all the time. <laughs> that's how mother say. She tells for the children, so she animates his, it a little. She says that uh, he, for the fun of it, he manifested uh, uh, divine Aditi, the divine mother, out of himself. So uh, the divine mother is kind of a manifestation which goes out. And to this divine power, Aditi, Shakti, the divine mother, uh, he gave the work of manifestation. Ki tum banao. And the divine mother, in effect, she... Tra uh, like gave out four powers out from herself that unhone usko jaise hota na kaam de diya apne kisi ko apne niche walon ko kaam de diya to char powers ko unhone kaam de diya so these powers were uh, truth light bliss and uh, i think immortality or some could be uh, something different but in the crux it is truth light uh, bliss and one more thing which may be related to immortality so these powers were given the task of creating now what happens is like if i am the parent and i give money to a child or my four children and the children go out and now they think that oh the mother is away and the money is with me so i can do whatever i like so that is what mother says happened to these powers they disconnected from their divine origin and they thought that, oh, now the power is with me. So the moment they disconnected from the divine source, they became opposites of what they truly were. So that is why instead of truth, we have falsehood. Instead of bliss, we have by default. Again, we are talking of by default. You know, by default, there is falsehood. By default, there is suffering instead of bliss. You were asking, you know, why is it there? 
and by default there is darkness which is tamas and non remembrance which you were asking you know why this non remembrance is there and that is why we have to put effort and discipline if we want to remember every time right so that is why because the creation is like that the design is like that नहीं तो मजा नहीं है ना अगर कोई चैलेंज नहीं है सबको ही तो याद है सब डिवाइन है तो क्या मजा है यू नो मजा ये है कि अरे भूलते हैं यू नो एंड देन इन उस भूल में क्या क्या ब्लंडर्स हम करते हैं है ना फिर वो ब्लंडर्स हम दस साल बाद लोगों को सुनाते हैं कि हमने ये देखो अपने जवानी में ये ब्लंडर्स किए हुए हैं सो एज तरु शेयरिंग अलियर दैट एवरीथिंग इज अ विन विन सिचुएशन आवर एरर्स आर हिज स्टेप्स ऑन द वे हमारे एरर्स एंड मिस्टेक्स एंड स्टम्बलिंग्स थ्रू अवर स्टम्बलिंग्स द वर्ल्ड इज परफेक्टेड this also sure when those says right so everything is opposite of what it supposed to be we are not immortal we are mortals but we all crave for immortality we want to be amar hai na hum chahte hain ki hamesha rahe hamare hum jinse pyar karte hain wo hamesha rahe hai na hum hamare jo loved ones hai hum khud hai agar hum apne aap ko appreciate karte hain to man karta hai ki hum hamesha rahe kya kitne bhi boodhe ho jaye man karta hai nahi mare नो no, ऐसा नहीं है कि कोई मांगेगा कि मुझे डेथ दे दो वो तभी बोलेगा जब शरीर बिल्कुल परेशान कर रहा होगा यू नो सो दैट इज वाई देर इज दिस अर्ज फॉर इमोटैलिटी बिकॉज समवेयर वी ऑल आर एक्चुअली सपोज टू बी इमोटल्स बट वी आर नॉट तो हमें उसका टेस्ट है और चाह है दैट इज वाई द मेडिकल साइंस हैज एडवांस सो मच है ना वो क्या कर रहे हैं एज एक्सटेंड कर रहे हैं है ना ये केमिकल वो केमिकल कुछ ना कुछ पदार्थ ऐसा निकाल देंगे कि एज बढ़ जाए क्यों भाई ऐसा कौन सा महान जीवन हम जी रहे हैं कि एज बढ़ जाए नहीं लेकिन सबको चाह है सबको चाह है सो दैट चाह इज अ टेस्ट दैट वी रिमेंबर दैट समवेयर समवेयर वी आर ऑल इमोटल्स बट वी डोंट नो हाउ एक्चुअली टू बिकम इमोटल्स सो दैट इज वेयर श्योर बिंदोज योगा टेक्स दैट फर्स्ट यू कनेक्ट विद योर ट्रू कॉन्शियसनेस अदरवाइज वॉट इज द पॉइंट इफ अ रावण बिकम्स इमोटल लाइक ही विल बी हैवक फॉर द अर्थ एंड वी ऑल आर रावण एट द मोमेंट नो वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी इमोटल लाइक दिस डर्ट एंड फिल्थ यू नो बेटर नॉट बी इमोटल सो दैट इज वाई डेथ इज देयर सो एज लॉन्ग एज अवर ट्रू कनेक्शन विद अवर हाइएस्ट सेल्फ इज नॉट पेल्पेबल इन ईच एंड एवरी मोमेंट ऑफ माई लाइफ वी बेटर डाई because there is no point remaining an immortal like mahavatar baba ji you know now he has become immortal and he does as if you know he has to be like he is the savior of the earth he is like you know saving us from so many things we we are not aware what these people who are immortals are doing we are not aware of their protection so people and that is why all these disciplines require a lot of effort and lot of individual uh, disciplines that we have to cultivate जैसे ही स्लैकनिंग आती है फिर एक थप्पड़ पड़ता है फिर हमें लगता है नहीं नहीं फिर से साधना करनी चाहिए नो भूल गए थे भूल गए थे फिर स्लैकनिंग आती है फिर एक थप्पड़ पड़ता है सो इन सावित्री शोरबिंदो डिस्क्राइब्स दैट व्हाट इज द रीजन फॉर ग्लोज व्हाट व्हाई इज पेन इंपॉर्टेंट इन इग्नोरेंस सो आई थॉट बिफोर क्लोजिंग दिस पैराग्राफ वी कुड ऑल्सो टेक दोज लाइन फ्रॉम सावित्री वेयर ही शेयर द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ पेन वाइल वी हैव इग्नोरेंस ऑल्सो इग्नोरेंस इज वॉट यू जस्ट सेड oh now i remember it was the other power was wisdom which became ignorance or knowledge which became ignorance so we don't know who we truly are so as long as i don't know who i truly am it is better that pain remains in fact yes this one yeah consciousness yeah so that's how we are unconscious hai na we hum bhool jate hain and light लाइफ डिलाइट सो डिलाइट की जगह हमारे पास सफरिंग है लव की जगह वी हैव ऑल द ऑपोजिट ऑफ लव एंड ट्रूथ की जगह वी हैव फॉल्स सो यू कैन शेयर दिस ऑन द ग्रुप यू कैन ऑल्सो शेयर दिस लेटर ऑन द ग्रुप सो दैट एवरीबडी कैन रीड इट इन दर्ड्स ऑफ मदर सो जस्ट शेयरिंग दिस थिंग फ्रॉम सावित्री बिकॉज आई आई ऑलवेज फील दैट दिस इज वेरी गुड टू रिमाइंड अस अगेन एंड अगेन सो before i come to the lines now savitri is uh, going to marry she has decided that satyavan ke alawa usko koi nahi chahiye but satyavan ka jo fate hai wo sabko pata hai <laughs> to jo queen hai savitri ki mummy wo keh rahi hai ki bhaiya ye ek badi galat baat hai meri beti ke sath aisa kyu ho raha hai uh, why is so much of pain and suffering needed on this planet 
मतलब हमारी हालत बहुत बुरी है कहाँ है गॉड क्रूअल यू नो कहाँ छुपे हुए हैं लाइक दैट शी इज कंप्लेनिंग फॉर सो मेनी लाइन्स आर देयर यू नो वेर शी टेल्स अवर मिजरेबल स्टेट एंड शी सेज वेयर इज गॉड इफ देर इज नो वाई देर इज सो मच ऑफ पेन सो शी इज कंप्लेनिंग देन नारद इज ऑल्सो देयर इन द किंगडम द किंग इज देयर द क्वीन इज देयर एंड एंड नारद हैज कम सो नारद जी नाउ रिप्लाइज वाई इज द नीड फॉर पेन इन द कैन टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ वे ऑफ फेट एंड द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ पेन सो वी आर गोइंग टू जस्ट टच अपॉन दैट केयर देन आफ्टर अ साइलेंस नारद मेड रिप्लाई सो आई एम जस्ट स्कीपिंग अ फ्यू एंड जस्ट टेकिंग द लाइन्स दैट आर राइट नाउ रेलिवेंट वॉज देन द सन अ ड्रीम बिकॉज देर इज नाइट hidden in the mortal's heart the eternal lives he lives secret in the chamber of thy soul a light shines there nor pain nor grief can cross a darkness stands between thyself and him thou canst not hear nor feel the marvelous guest thou canst not see the beatific sun o queen thy thought so this is where i think again many catches that thought is a light of the ignorance hum kitna vishwas karte hain apne vicharon pe hai na vicharon ke through hum samajhna chahte hain aur wo yahan pe kya keh rahe hain bar bar keh rahe hain savitri mein oh queen thy thought is the light of ignorance to wohi aake to beech mein khadi hui hai aur hum kya kar rahe hain usi ko use kare ja rahe hain usi ko use kare ja rahe hain it's brilliant curtain now the curtain is brilliant bahut glitter hai curtain pe कुछ कुछ दिखाता है आपको बहुत अच्छी अच्छी चीजें बताता है बट इट्स अ कर्टन इट्स ब्रिलियंट कर्टन हाइड्स फ्रॉम दी गॉड्स फेस इट इल्यूम्स अ वर्ल्ड बॉर्न फ्रॉम द इनकॉन्शियस वॉट डज इट मीन यू नो वेन वी आर ग्रोपिंग इन डार्कनेस देन थॉट प्रोवाइड्स अ लिटिल लाइट नो सो इट इल्यूम्स ऐसा नहीं है कि बिल्कुल भी हेल्प नहीं कर रहा इट इल्यूम्स अ वर्ल्ड बॉर्न फ्रॉम द इनकॉन्शियस बट Hides the immortals' meaning in the world. So ये जिस discussion पे हम शुरू हुए थे नो कि हमारी पिटाई हो रही है but हम रोते हैं but पता है कि हमारे लिए अच्छा ही हो रहा है It hides the immortals' meaning in the world. क्योंकि हम विचारों में खो जाते हैं इसलिए ये हम भूल जाते हैं क्योंकि हम विचारों में खोए हुए हैं इसलिए हम समझ नहीं पाते कि ये हमारे ऊपर जो काम हो रहा है ये एक्चुअली नेसेसरी काम है इफ वी वॉन्ट टू बी चिजल्ड इन टू अ nice shape which we have asked for we only have asked for no? thy mind's light hides from thee the eternal's thought to hum sochte hain ki divine will kya hai divine will kya hai agar divine will hum pata karna chahte hain uske liye humne mind ko silence karana bahut zaruri hai no? the mind's light hides from thee the eternal's thought thy heart's hopes है ना कितने होप्स होते हैं मैं ऐसे डिवाइन इंस्ट्रूमेंट बनूं मैं वैसे डिवाइन इंस्ट्रूमेंट बनूं सारे हमारे दिमाग में बिल्कुल सेट तरीके बने हुए तो वो कह रहे भैया इसको साइड पे रख दो ये बगल में रख दो इसको मतलब फेंको मत पॉकेट में रख लो इतना विश्वास जो है तुम्हें अपने विचारों पर मेरे तरीके से काम होना चाहिए वो थोड़ा छोड़ दो क्या पता है डिवाइन के बाद कोई पास कोई बेटर इंस्ट्रूमेंट है आपके वाले नहीं यूज करना चाह रहा हो टेक्नोलॉजी हैज चेंज सो दाय हार्ट्स होप्स Hides from thee the eternal's will. तो इनको बगल में रखना पड़ेगा दाय हर अर्थ जॉयज शट फ्रॉम दी द इम मॉटल्स ब्लिस दिस लाइन रेजोनेट्स विद मी वी अर लॉर्ड यू नो वाई बिकॉज अर्थ वॉट आर अर्थ जॉयज मजे लेना जिन सारी चीजों में हम मजे लेते हैं मजे लेते हैं ना हम सब अपनी अपनी जगह से मजे लेते हैं है ना कभी चैट करके कभी कॉसिप करके है ना कभी कुछ मसालेदार एंटरटेनमेंट देख के ये हमारे मजे हैं सो so, ये कह रहे हैं कि अर्थ जॉयज शट फ्रॉम दी द इम मॉटल्स प्लेस उनको छोड़ना पड़ेगा अगर हमको कुछ आगे का चाहिए अगर उसमें खुश हैं हम फिर तो ऑफ कोर्स नहीं छोड़ेंगे बट अगर तड़प चुके हैं ना फिर हम छोड़ेंगे नाउ ही कम्स कि क्योंकि हम नहीं छोड़ पाते नाउ ही सेज Earth's joys shut from thee the immortal's bliss. Then rose the need of a dark, intruding god, the world's dread teacher, the creator, pain. Where ignorance is, 
their suffering too must come. Thy grief is a cry of darkness to the light. So rest we will not read, but we can read page 443. You know, kyunki hum apni lollipops nahi chhod paate. Isliye piche se danda padta hai. You know, ek taraf se keh rahe hai, earth's joys shut from thee the immortal's bliss. Now the divine in his compassion and love which we were reading, he wants us to taste immortal's bliss. But what are we doing? Meri lollipop mujh se mat chhiyo, chhiyo. Usme maze aare hai. So ab kya karte hai? Wo aapke haath se lollipop chhiyo li jati hai. आप क्या कहते हो वही जो हम बात कर रहे थे गालियां देते हो बड़ा क्रूअल गॉड है मेरे साथ ही क्यों होना था मैं तो बड़ी अच्छी हूं यू नो हम गालियां देते हैं व्हाट कैन बी डू इट हर्ट्स इट हर्ट्स लेकिन हो क्या रहा है हम सबको पता है यू नो कि जब हम बच्चे के हाथ से वो लॉलीपॉप छीनते हैं हमें पता है कि बच्चा मच कैपेबल है वो लॉलीपॉप का नहीं रहा अब यू नो द बच्चा हैज ग्रोन एंड ही इज एबल नाउ टू ही विल बी एबल टू चैनल हिज एनर्जीज इनटू अ बेटर एडिक्शन देन अ लॉलीपॉप तो ये पेरेंट का कंपैशन तभी कहते हैं डिवाइन इज करुणा मई कंपैशनेट ऑल कंपैशनेट तो वो सीमिंग ट्रेजिडीज जो होती हैं दैट इज इज हिज डिवाइन कृपा क्योंकि अगर वो नहीं होती तो हम डिवाइन की तरफ मुड़ते ही नहीं और अगर डिवाइन की तरफ मुड़ते नहीं तो अर्थ जॉयज में लिप्त रहते और इमोटल्स ब्लिस से दूर रहते दैट इज द डिवाइन कृपा दैट ही वॉन्ट्स फॉर अस द लास्टिंग जॉय not fleeting happinesses hmm? yeah i think that's what i wanted to add on ek kabir ka bhi yaad aa raha hai <laughs> kabir ji you know uh, like he was sharing here shri aurobindo talks about the aryan spirit you know like one needs to be a warrior to actually ask for blows right away and kabir ji also says sura surma so he says sura so hi sarahiye lada dhani ke het purja purja hoi pade tau na chhade khet so a true warrior is one who is very loyal to his uh, king here we can call it truth so truth is our king we are all fighting for truth so sura so hi saraiye usi ki sarana kijiye usi ko praise kijiye only that warrior who always fights and is loyal towards his king which is truth purja purja hoi pade uske chithde chithde ud rahe hain ye hamare sath hota hai but fir bhi wo battlefield chhod ke nahi jata he is still loyal to truth वो ये नहीं कह रहा कि ट्रूथ को लांछन दे रहा है बोल रहा है कि नहीं तू तो खराब है अब मैं दूसरी पार्टी पकड़ रहा हूं ना बिकॉज उसको पता है ये फाइट दिस इज वेयर आई वॉन्ट टू बी तो मरेंगे तो हम इसी के लिए मरेंगे एंड दैट इज वाई श्री ओरबिंदो प्लेस द पीपल हु फाइट फॉर देयर कंट्री द ऑन द टॉप लेवल पराकाष्ठा ऑफ लव सो Uh, like what we call as uh, freedom fighters or you know lovers of their nation shorbindu places them on the top most where it comes to love ki kon hai jo sabse zyada pyar kar sakta hai so i think there is also one uh, i don't know maybe story or play or uh, a poem where love is looking okay where can i go you know which is the best place which is the best place and then in a freedom fighter he finds the best place because here he is ready to give his life for his nation so like uh, if those of us who are loyal to truth we are ready to give our life ha jaan le lo but truth ka side nahi chhodenge so that is the parakashta of love like the peak pinnacle of love yeah it's like a utter self giving complete self giving yes thank you boon i don't know it feels like this was enough and 
nothing more should be said could be said so the lines that you were sharing you know the next line uh, was uh, something like that pain is the first born child of pain uh, sorry pain is the first born child of ignorance that was the line so again coming tying it to what we were reading even last week and this week about pain and pleasure and how we are not unable to see things for what they are. So if, if I can remember even briefly that if I'm feeling pain or if there is suffering, there is somewhere I am not, something I'm not looking at or there is some ignorance which is causing that. Maybe then I can shift my attention from the source, the person, the place, the city, you know, the circumstances which I spend all my energy in, even if not blaming and then just acknowledging that because of this, this is happening to me. Maybe that energy can be channelized better in looking within and if possible and if grace allows to transform yeah. it then, yeah. There are two more lines while you were sharing, I remembered. So these two lines, you know, pain is the hand of nature sculpturing men to greatness. An inspired label chisels with heavenly cruelty. So it's a dard hota hai humko, jab wo, you know, but it's a heavenly cruelty. You know, wo achha chahte hai liye. With heavenly cruelty, an unwilling mold. Ye hum hai. <laughs> Lifting the hammers of titanic toil, toil, you know, ye hamare upar kaam ho hai. They shape with giant strokes their own, their sons they are marked with their enormous stamp of, of fire. Hmm? Although the shaping God's tremendous touch is torture unbearable to mortal nerves. Hai na? Kabhi -kabhi lagta hai, please, thoda sa to ruk jau. <laughs> So, although the shaping God's tremendous touch is torture, unbearable to mortal nerves, the fiery spirit grows in strength within and feels a joy in every titan pang. So, this is that when we have a joy in our own, we have a little bit of a joy. Nature is a little bit of a joy, but the spirit, the more and more we are able to have the spirit in front, then we know, you know, then a knowing arises ki ye jo ho hai, bhoot achha ho hai. So that is the knowing of the spirit which enjoys this pang. Kyunki usko pata hai, bhoot badiya kaam ho hai. So it means that, you know, the psychic, all the, the true consciousness is now in front, more and more in front. Because you know, and now you have more capacity to endure also. Hai na? Kyunki hume pata hai, jaise maan lo, hum swimming seekhne ja rahe hai, ya kuch bhi seekhne ja rahe hai. और अगर हम ट्रूली सीखना चाहते हैं और अगर जो फैसिलिटेटर है हमारा वो थोड़ा हार्श है थोड़ा हमको यू नो कभी-कभी इंसल्टिंग डिजेक्टिंग वर्ड्स बोल देता है बट हमें पता है चाहता हमारा अच्छा ही है सो देन वी डोंट माइंड वी इंडोर सो दैट इज हाउ वी बिगिन टू इंडोर व्हेन वी हैव मोर एंड मोर द ट्रू कॉन्शियसनेस इन फ्रंट In our life, we always have like a big picture, right? Like something that if we are sitting and reflecting and thinking, we feel, okay, this is what I want or this is why it's happening. Like we can see the big picture. But in my every day, I'm unable to call the big picture or use a lens that shows me light through the big picture. So I falsely believe, I know. I've read, I've heard, I know how it's working and yet when a blow comes, it hurts. So I think this bridging of big picture with my every day has the, you know, the one of the keys to maybe bring that light in so that big picture, pata, it's great. I know I've read, I remember, I have memorized those lines, for example, but could be Life is if it's as is, that means that I need to merge the two, make the real life 
which I call real with the special experiences or the special dawnings. Yeah. I think we, ki, love, we don't have to admit any thought of unfitness. This is very, uh, requires a lot of vigilance on our part. Because we don't want to do it, we do entertain our own thoughts. We don't want to But by default, those thoughts are coming. And since we are not all the time very disciplined in our you know, taming of the mind, so what happens, we begin to indulge in those thoughts which are telling that, oh, I am so much for example, you know, or I am so much all these thoughts, you know, centered around me, me, me. So, uh, Mother says, a vigilance faltering not even for a moment. But I think coexisting that I just I I I've come to a point where I just accept both of them because I don't know what to do because I'm I'm constantly feeling tucha and I'm constantly aware of the of the Mahan and, and they both are like parallelly running. It's like they, they, they're like actually parallelly running. It's not like and I'm just I'm looking at this and I'm looking at this and this and this and this and this and, this and I'm thinking yeah. no, there's so much, you know. So I, I have so so people who are who you know are like up there. They don't have the tucha thing at all because I think maybe I thought maybe they both are going to coexist for life and you know this is how it's going to be and I just have to be with both of these because Bilkul. I just don't know. Uh, both are as real also. You know the 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 fact that I have I know that you know the strike is for a reason and i know also because i invited it with whatever and also the the pain that i'm feeling is also as real which i cannot you know it is there like it is as real as as my faith that i know that this is happening for good but that doesn't it's not making the pain go away mm. the pain is still there and i know that but the knowing is also there that i know I don't have doubt but I had imagined that when I doubt I not pain. But I don't pain and I have doubt. I am just saying that. Yeah, I think totally because every, see we are uh, existing parallelly on a lot of planes of consciousness. So you are on psychic plane, you are on spiritual plane, you are on mind and thoughts ke plane. Pe bhi ho. Parallelly, you are there. Hai na? Feelings wale plane. Pe bhi ho. Or body consciousness ke bhi plane pe ho. Or kaam chal raha hai. In floors pe kaam chal raha hai na. Mind, life or body pe kaam chal raha hai. Or psychic pe kaam chal raha hai in the sense that it is coming to front. The more and more work on mind, life and body gets done. Which is our nature or prakriti. Psych, malab, jaise jaise aur jhine aur, aur how do you say aur delicate hote jate hai. Hmm? Because of all these hammers. The psychic comes to front. So, you are not going to be able to feel the dirt is nature ke level. If you are not going to be able to feel the dirt, you will be able to feel the dirt. Whatever little we are able to endure is because of that psychic strength that we are developing within. It is not possible. Hai na? And uh, totally fine. And I think the more and more we realize that our own inner work takes so much of time, and we know that it will take so much of time and the Tuchapan and the Mahanta will parallelly be existing. I think the more we can be grounded that hum koi mahan nahi hoge because we can see the Tuchapan in al on, on also all the time and it is just that we are choosing to step back from the Tuchapan. And aisa nahi hai ki wo mar gaya. Aur jitna zyada hum apne aap ko jante hai is tarikhe se utna hi zyada hum dousro ke saath empathize kar paate hai because when they are when they make mistakes, then we see that, mere mein bhi to ye hai, jealousy, yes, present. At times I am able to step back, at times I am not. Ambition, greed, want, sab kuch to mere mein hai. To kya ho gaya galti us bande se ki agar wo bhi slip ho gaya. Mala, what's the big deal? So I think the more we are able to work on ourselves parallelly, seeing both light and darkness, the more we are able to be humble and grounded, our feet are on ground and we are able to empathize with others where 
एरर्स आर मेड एंड यू नो मिस्टेक्स आर कमिटेड बिकॉज हम हमारा भी कोई हम नहीं तर गए हम पार नहीं लग गए हम भी यहीं पे हैं है ना तो वैसे ही सब अपने ऊपर काम कर रहे हैं सो वेरी ट्रू यस एंड दिस गोज ऑन फॉर अ वेरी 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 लॉन्ग टाइम एंड नॉट ओनली अ लाइफ बट लाइफ टाइम्स शिरोबिंदो सेज दैट यू नो वन एनिमी स्लेन एंड देन इट रिवाइव अगेन in savitri only and in other uh, poem god's labor he shares that how all the things which we thought old rejected nature in us survives again kahi nahi ja raha wo yahi pe hai to isse hame pata lagta hai ki dusron ka bhi to fir wahi pe hai kya tension ki baat hai isme sab apne upar kaam kar sakte hain hai na so yes it's very encouraging for us and empathizing also महाकाली वाला भी पढ़ सकते हैं सिंस इट इज अबाउट ब्लोज वी कैन ऑल्सो टेक अप द एस्पेक्ट ऑफ महाकाली या वुड यू लाइक टू शेयर इट आई हैव इट इन द बुक राइट नाउ आई कैन रीड इट आउट फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस so mahakali so this is that aspect of the mother that gives us blows you know it's full of power and strength mahakali is of another nature not wideness but height not wisdom but force and strength are her peculiar power there is in her an overwhelming intensity a mighty passion of force to achieve a divine violence rushing to shatter every limit and obstacle all her divinity leaps out in a splendor of tempestuous action she is there for swiftness for the immediately effective prowess process the rapid and direct stroke the frontal assault that carries everything before it yes thank you terrible is her face to the asura now asura is present in us you know we have to know there is no other asura outside so all these are asuras all these uh, in the story of creation that we read the upturned qualities falsehood is an asura suffering is an asura so all these upturned qualities unconsciousness these are all asuras okay. so we it is our task because we are the warriors of the mother to transmute them into their other counterparts the light counterparts यही काम करने आए सो टेरिबल इज हर फेस टू द असुरा डेंजरस एंड रुथलेस हर मूड अगेंस्ट द हेटर्स ऑफ द डिवाइन फॉर शी इज द वॉरियर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड हु नेवर श्रिंग्स फ्रॉम द बैटल इन टॉलरेंट ऑफ इम्परफेक्शन शी डील्स रफली विद ऑल इन मैन दैट इज अनविलिंग एंड शी इज सिवियर टू ऑल दैट इज ऑप्सटिनेटली इग्नोरेंट एंड ऑप्स्योर हर रॉथ इज इमिजिएट and dire against treachery and falsehood and malignity ill will is smitten at once by her scourge you know many a times we must have seen in our life how if we act out of ill will if we are working on ourselves and if we act out of ill will we will see that immediately we get a like a hit back so it's a very good uh, divine grace you know that somebody is looking and working on us indifference negligence and sloth in the divine work she cannot bear and she smites awake at once with sharp pain ab humko dard hota hai jab bhi you know mother says whenever we turn back from the psychic being aur hum aisa kaam karte hain jo actually psychic ke sath alignment mein nahi hai we feel uneasy वो हमें माइंड को क्योटिक कर देता है हमको अनइजी बना देता है सो शी स्माइट्स अवेक एट वंस विद शार्प पेन इफ नीड बी द अनटाइमली स्लम्बर एंड द लॉयटर द इम्पल्स दैट आर स्विफ्ट एंड स्ट्रेट एंड फ्रैंक द मूवमेंट्स दैट आर अनरिजर्व एंड एप्सल्यूट द एस्पिरेशन दैट माउंट्स इन फ्लेम आर द मोशन ऑफ महाकाली सो हमारे अंदर सो दीज ऑल आस्पेक्ट्स आर वर्किंग इन ईच वन ऑफ अस 
हमारे अंदर जब भी देर इज अस्पिरेशन दैट राइज इज अप एंड आस्क फॉर द ब्लू इट इज एक्चुअली द शक्ति ऑफ महाकाली इट सेल्फ विच इज आस्किंग फॉर द ब्लू दैट माइट एंड स्ट्रेंथ सो दैट एस्पिरेशन दैट माउंट इन फ्लेम आर द मोशन ऑफ महाकाली सो वी कैन रेकोगनाइज अवर वर्क हर वर्क इन अस वेन वी बिकम कॉन्शियस ऑफ दिस माइट एंड स्ट्रेंथ इन अस her spirit is tameless her vision and will are high and far reaching like the flight of an eagle her feet are rapid on the upward way so progress hmm? mahakali is progress instant progress baad mein nahi kal ka kisi ne nahi dekha abhi right now abhi hum kya kar sakte hain progress ke liye her feet are rapid on the upward way and her hands are outstretched to strike and to succor for she too is the mother and her love is as intense as her wrath and she has a deep and passionate kindness when she is allowed to intervene in her strength then in one moment are broken like things without consistence the obstacles that immobilize or the enemies that assail the seeker hmm? if she is allowed if her anger is dreadful to the hostile and the vehemence of her pressure painful to the weak कभी कभी हमें वीकनेस भी फील होती है कि यार बहुत ज्यादा हो रहा है राइट सो इफ हर एंगर इज ड्रेटफुल टू द हॉस्टाइल एंड वेहमेंस ऑफ हर प्रेशर पेनफुल टू द वीक एंड टिमिड शी इज लव एंड वर्शिप्ड बाय द ग्रेट एंड दैट वो जो अभी शिल्पी बात करी थी दैट आई कैन सी इन माई सेल्फ ग्रेटनेस ऑल्सो एंड वीकनेस ऑल्सो है ना सो दैट ग्रेटनेस इन अस इज वर्शिपिंग महाकाली बट द वीकनेस से इज बस थोड़ा सा रुक जाओ she is loved and worshiped by the great the strong and the noble for they feel that her blows beat what is rebellious in their material into strength and perfect truth so the more strength we gain within we actually want these blows to happen because we re- re- recognize that how fast we progress when these blows are there and dheere dheere hamari endurance also for pain increases in their material into strength and perfect truth hammer straight what is wry and perverse and expel what is impure or defective but for her what is done in a day might have taken century so this is the kindness <laughs> this is the divine kindness and compassion ki jisme life times lag sakte the usme wo ek din mein kaam kar sakti hai but for her what is done in a day might have taken centuries without her ananda might be wide and grave or soft and sweet and beautiful but would lose the flaming joy of its most absolute intensities to knowledge she gives a conquering might brings to beauty and harmony a high and mounting movement and imparts to the slow and difficult labor after perfection and impetus that multiplies the power and shortens the long way so ye jo progressive hai you know quick 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 टाइम नहीं है वेस्ट करने के लिए दिस प्रोग्रेस इज कमिंग थ्रू महाकालीज आस्पेक्ट इन अस ईच वन ऑफ अस नथिंग कैन सेटिस्फाई हर दैट फॉल्स शॉर्ट ऑफ द सुप्रीम एक्सटीज सो शी वुड नॉट टॉलरेट मीडियोकर लाइफ उसको पता है यू नो श्योरबिंदो से डिवाइन डजेंट थिंक दैट लिटल ऑफ अस दैट वी थिंक हमको लगता है यार नहीं मैं तो बड़ी अनवर्दी हूं नहीं नहीं मैं तो नहीं यू नो मैं नहीं कर सकती मैं नहीं कर सकती सो डिवाइन डजेंट थिंक लाइक दैट फॉर अस ही नोज व्हाट वी आर कैपेबल ऑफ एंड दैट इज हाउ वी आर गिवन ऑल द ब्लोज व्हिच वी कैन इंडोर इंड्योर सो नथिंग कैन सेटिस्फाई हर दैट फॉल्स शॉर्ट ऑफ द सुप्रीम एक्सटीज द हाइएस्ट हाइट्स द नोबलेस्ट एम्स द लार्जेस्ट विस्टर्स हमको आदत हो जाती है अपनी नैरो नैरो लाइफ जीने की But she cannot tolerate our narrow lives. So वो क्या करती हैं वो आपको ऐसे पछाड़ती हैं ऐसे यू नो खिलाती हैं कि यू वॉन्ट इट और नॉट यू हैव टू लिव अ वाइडर लाइफ यू वॉन्ट इट और नॉट चाहिए नहीं चाहिए वो नहीं पूछेंगे तुमसे क्योंकि तुम्हारी माँ है यू नो शी लव यू शी केयर्स फॉर यू शी नोज वॉट यू आर केपेबल फॉर तो आपको चाहिए चार दीवारें और वो उन चार दीवारों को बनने ही नहीं देंगी आप बोलो क्या करोगे हुँ? और हम रो रहे होंगे कि मेरी चार दीवारें नहीं बन रही <laughs> हम कंप्लेन कर रहे होते हैं कि मेरा घर नहीं बन रहा मेरा वो ये तेरा घर ये मेरा घर 
Therefore, with her is the victorious force of the divine, and it is by grace of her fire and passion and speed, if the great achievement can be done now rather than hereafter. So this, you know, all that we can see, the crux of the matter is instant progress. वो चाहिए तो डायल माँ काली जिसको इंस्टेंट प्रोग्रेस चाहिए वो नंबर मिला दे मदर का सो ऑल दीज एस्पेक्ट ऑफ मदर यू नो दे आर वर्किंग इन अस एट ऑल मोमेंट्स ऑफ टाइम एंड वी कैन सी वी कैन रीड यू नो अच्छा कौन सा मुझ में लैकिंग है यू नो उसको डायल करेंगे तो उसका यू नो वी कैन गेट कनेक्टेड एंड ड्रॉ इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम सो आई थॉट दिस वुड बी वेरी रिलेवेंट फॉर वॉट वी वर रीडिंग विद श्योर बिंदो i think we can end the session now it feels like more than one session with the sharings yeah so just taking the last yeah shilpi would you are you saying something no yeah i i was just thanking this was really very powerful thank you very much thank you so much yes just thanking grace thanking the divine to give us light whenever we need it and the light is always there but we are only looking at other places so sharing the merit acquired through my deeds my actions my thoughts with everyone praying for true joy true contentment true peace for all beings Thank you. 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 Thank you.